when I say I have been so careful with this bracelet, whenever I put it down, I put it down ever so gently, just so gently. I literally just watch <laughs> and put it down so gently, but... Welcome back to another video. If you are new here, hi, my name is Lala. Welcome, welcome to my channel. And if you are returning, then hey girl, what's up? How you doing? So for today's video, we're gonna be doing an unboxing and review for these two Hermes items that I recently purchased. We're gonna be talking about the Hermes Cook H bracelet and the Hermes Arand sandals. Now the sandals I just got, so it's gonna be more of an unboxing and first impressions and my thoughts on them and I'll come back later in like maybe a few months and do an update on my review of them. But the bracelet, I've had it for like a month or two now, so I can give an honest review on it so far. With all that being said, let's go ahead and get into these two items. Okay, so first we're gonna talk about the iconic H cutout Hermes sandal. I got mine in the color gold, AKA tan, but Hermes calls their tan gold. These are made in Italy and they are calf skin leather. I have mine in a size 41, which is a US size 10. Yes, I have accepted the fact that I have big feet and so should you. Don't judge me. I've had my eye on these for a long time, but I did not know if they would be worth it to me and I did not know which color to get. In the store, I tried on um, black and this gold color and I was so torn because the black just looks so beautiful in person. But I have so much black, I'm like, you know what? Let me get those later and get these first. And then after black, I would definitely do white, but I'm saving white for last because you know white gets dirty. So I watched a bunch of reviews before I went and actually purchased these sandals. And for the most part, the reviews were good. Everyone said that they feel like they are worth the money. People get a good use out of them. They hold up well. But until today, like right before I started filming this video, I watched one more review and the lady said that they were uncomfortable for her. I'm gonna try them on, let you guys see how they look on my feet, walk around a little bit, but I will put in text if I feel like they're comfortable so far, but I have not worn them out yet. I was waiting to unbox them for this video. So like I said earlier, I will come back with a review and let you guys know how I feel about them in the future. This is a good up close view of them. I love how there's that white stitching going around. Here in the sole, there's just that one area that's pretty plushy. And then they have a wooden, no frame around the bottom, this wooden little platform. And then the bottom is very just soft and beige. It has the brand and printed in there with a the size. This shoe just feels very good as it should. Okay, it's very expensive. This shoe retails for $660, but with tax, it comes up to $706. So far, I feel like it's worth it because I did sell something to buy these, so I don't really feel like I lost like money. <laughs> but I'm sure the next pair, I'm just gonna have to buy straight up. So I will probably feel that little, you know, guilt then, but... But I feel like they're very beautiful. Like just looking at them, first impressions, these are beautiful, high quality shoes. And a lot of the reviews, most of the girls were saying that they recommend these for women with more of a narrow foot. 
because this part can become annoying if you have a wider foot. And I have a pretty narrow foot, which I'm insecure about, but looks like it's working out because I get to wear these. So far, based off of first impressions and unboxing, I would definitely recommend I love these. If you have the coins, and you know, you're like me, you've been wanting a pair, go ahead and get them, girl. Life is too short, just go get it. So now we're gonna get into the Click H bracelet. I might look like I'm going like up and down, it's because right now I'm sitting on my foot and then I'm like getting off my foot, so. Anyways, click H bracelet. I have it right here. So it comes in this cute little tiny box. So cute. As you can see, I'm keeping the box, not just for the bracelet, but for decoration as well. Opens up and in here, it's inside of its own little dust bag that says the brand's name right on the front. It's like a suede material in a brown color. Inside it has a booklet. It shows you how to close and open it and it says it in a few different languages. And it also gives like recommendations on what you should wear it with or not, you know, stuff like that. This is her, this is my new baby okay so for my first bracelet i decided to go with the yellow gold plated metal and the white enamel because i feel like i would get more wears out of this one than any other color next to this maybe black or pink but like white would definitely be the one that i get the most wears out of so this bracelet comes in different sizes and it comes in different widths i have a pm narrow but you can get a wide pm or you can get a narrow gm so the pm and the gm relates to i guess we can call it the circumference or how big it is around the wrist and then the wide is like this much thicker or taller i'll insert a picture of it really quick but that's what the wide looks like you can also get that in pm or gm so to open it you have to squeeze like so and then move the H up and it opens I don't know if you guys can see but also engraved on the inside it says Hermes and it also says made in France with like a number on it I assume it's a serial number and then to put it on you just make sure you squeeze it and then turn the H and it stays on this bracelet retails for $660, same price as the sandals, and it comes up to $706, same exact price. Do I think this bracelet is worth the price? I don't think anything is really worth how much it costs because we always pay more for whatever it is that we're getting. Like this camera I'm using right now, it probably cost them like, what, 100 bucks to make it, and I paid $800 for it. So is anything ever really worth it? <laughs> but yes i do feel like it is worth it if you are into luxury goods i'm trying to build my closet and everything i feel like it's worth it you just have to make sure that you close it really good because if not you'll look back and it'll be open god forbid that happens to me out in public one day and i don't pay attention and it falls off god forbid but you have to make sure that you put it on good so now i've been like extra careful when I clip it on. So far the enamel hasn't given me any issues but the gold metal. When I say I have been so careful with this bracelet, whenever I put it down, I put it down ever so gently. Just so gently. I literally just watch <laughs> and put it down so gently but it still gets scratches. I'm gonna find the exact date that I got this and I'll pop it up on the screen. So you guys can see within that time, that's how scratched up this bracelet has already become. And that's the H. The H isn't scratched up that bad, but it does have some minor scratches to it. Before I actually went into Hermes and got this, I was gonna get it like pre-loved off Postmark maybe, but the only reason I didn't get it pre-loved was because of all the scratches. Like everyone's bracelet that they were selling, like even the highest, close to newest bracelets had scratches on them and i'm like no i actually want one that's fresh no marks on it because i don't want it to be marked up 
and it's already marked up. I might as well have just got it pre-loved. A really good one that I saw pre-loved was about $5.50. So I would have saved 100 bucks. I also went swimming in the pool with this bracelet on. It does say that you shouldn't wet it, but I wasn't really thinking. But I did one time go swimming in a pool of chlorine and it still looks the same. The, the metal did not change but I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna wear it in the water ever again because what if it comes off? Who knows, I don't know, but I'm never gonna wear it in water again. So hands down, I love this bracelet. I do not regret the purchase. I would just suggest being very careful when you put it on. Make sure the clamp is closed all the way and be careful with the things that you're doing while you have it on because it will get marked up. I definitely want to try and get one with a color on it because I feel like those pop out really crazy like they look good like the orange and the red maybe one day down the line I might get one of those colors but for now and I'm not too fond of the wide it's like just too much you might as well just have on a watch if you're gonna wear that so so that is going to conclude today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not already doing so, please subscribe to this channel. Give your girl a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you guys feel about these items down below. If you have them, especially if you have the sandals, let me know how you feel about them. Are they comfy to walk in? If you have the bracelet, are you experiencing the same thing with the marking on the metals? Let me know everything. So yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I can't wait to see you in the next one.